guest today is James Wilson, a partner in the law firm of Voris, Sater, Seymour and Pease, and a chair of the American Bar Association Antitrust Section. Jim, thanks for coming to the show. Thanks for having me, Chuck. This is a complicated subject, and we've got this new Obama administration coming in. Do you think the approach in the Obama administration to antitrust will be different than it has been in the present administration? Yeah, I think it will. Uh, President-elect Obama has uh, repeatedly indicated he thinks the current levels of enforcement have been insufficient. I think in the economic uh, condition that we're in, we're going to see some industries really undergo careful scrutiny. Uh, naturally, I think the energy sector is going to continue to be scrutinized very carefully. Financial services, with all the consolidation that's occurred there, is going to get a careful look. Internet and high tech, I think, are of great interest in the Obama administration. So I think overall we're going to have the antitrust enforcers looking very carefully at uh, the issues that arise in those industries. So you think this administration, the incoming administration, is going to take a tougher stance on this kind of thing? Yeah, I think um, almost immediately after the, uh, the inauguration we're going to see the Justice Department withdraw the position adopted recently regarding monopoly. Enforcement and engage in a more vigorous enforcement there. I think we're going to continue to see a lot of criminal cartel enforcement. And I think the merger area is going to get very interesting. This would be a good thing, you think? I think so. Uh, I, I have great respect for the folks in the current administration. I think they're very bright folks. Uh, but I think in the ec economy that we're in, uh, we need to make sure that our antitrust laws are enforced vigorously and competition is the rule of the day. Well, of course, Capitol Hill also is changing dramatically, and the Democrats are in charge of both houses coming in. How will that affect the antitrust legislation that you see? Well, I think for the first time in a number of years, there's a real chance of antitrust legislation moving through Congress and actually passing. Uh, there's been a lot of discussion about whether the Congress ought to, in, a, in effect, repeal the Supreme Court's decision in Legion, which was a, a decision that dealt with uh, manufacturer setting resale prices for the and, and uh, retailers, I think there's going to be a lot of momentum in this Congress uh, to enact that legislation in one form or another, repeal that decision. I also think Congress is going to be very interested in taking a careful look at industries that are now exempted from the antitrust laws and, and repealing those exemptions so that all of our businesses are subject to the antitrust laws. And you'll get more of that from the Democrats in charge? I think so. That's my sense is that the Democrats see this as a very important issue for our economy. It's obviously going to lag behind some of the more pressing issues that make the headlines every day, but I do think that Congress has a real interest in this issue, and when you have the substantial majorities that are going to be in the incoming Congress, uh, there's a real possibility we're going to see change there. Well, you mentioned the courts, and they, the judiciary remains relatively conservative on antitrust issues. Will the federal judges serve as a break on, a, on aggressive antitrust enforcement in the Obama administration? Well, I think that may be the, the $6,400,000 question. <laughs> um, the, it's going to take a long time for the new president to change the complexion mm -hmm. of the courts. Uh, I think, by and large, the courts of appeals and the Supreme Court have uh, been somewhat hostile to the antitrust laws. The Supreme Court has come out for the defendants in almost all of the cases it's decided over the last decade. Uh, so that, that is the hurdle that an Obama administration is going to face in terms of vigorous antitrust enforcement. Let's switch gears just a bit. There's, as you said, there's going to be other things coming before this. And of course, the financial bailout and the stimulus is one of them. Is that going to have any effect on antitrust legislation? Uh, well, I think it creates some interesting enforcement issues, and we may ultimately see some legislation that follows up on that. On an enforcement level, we, we've seen a consolidation of banks um, that we couldn't have guessed would occur, and it's occurred very rapidly, mm -hmm. and there's been really hardly any time to scrutinize those mergers. Uh, we also, on the other hand, see companies that you would never have guessed of joining the banking industry. Uh, GMAC says it now wants to be a bank. Um, and so that's going to change, I think, the whole complexion of that industry, which always makes for interesting antitrust issues. So there'll be a lot of wrestling around in that. Was that would the auto industry be affected in that way, too? Uh, well, all, the, with all we're talking about. I think uh, there's a lot, uh, I mean, uh, we are in the strange world where most antitrust lawyers, I think, would say that a merger of GM and Chrysler doesn't raise an antitrust issue, which if you told someone Boy. that in the 1960s, <laughs> they'd never believe that could have occurred. Uh, but there, I think there, w if 
there's a bailout, that's going to raise interesting issues in terms of what kind of protections given to those companies. Conversely, if either if they fail, there's going to be major shifts in the supplier base, which raises a whole new host of antitrust issues. We're starting to run out of time, but I have one final question. How about an update on some of the names? hearing is for the head of the antitrust division or chairman of the Federal Trade Commission? Well, we're, we're still hearing a lot of different names. Um, I think the name that uh, we hear the most uh, for the Department of Justice post is, is the Harvard professor, Einer Elhag, who um, has uh, been a, a part of the Obama campaign team. We've also heard Bill Kalaski from Wilmer Hale and Jan McDavid from Hogan. They're, they would all be great candidates. Um, at the Federal Trade Commission, Christine Varney, who's also at Hogan and Hartson's name, is certainly out there. She's the, uh, I think, personnel counsel in the transition team, so she's obviously a high-profile person. And then you hear uh, Leslie Overton, who's at Jones Day, John Baker, who teaches at American University. Uh, we're, the, we're fortunate and that we have a lot of very able people being talked about for these positions. So you'd be in a position to support any of those? I think the country would be well served by any of the folks I've mentioned. <laughs> Jim, thank you so much for being here. I hope you'll come back again. I enjoyed talking to you. I'm happy to be here anytime. Thank, thank you. Thank you. My name is Chuck Pony, and this has been Focus Washington.